It's the most wonderful time of the year. Diddly do, my diddlers and diddlets. Hope your day is going well, and welcome to the first reaction video of Reactmas. I still don't like that name, and I still don't have an intro. I've been trying to record this intro for like the past 30 minutes, so I'm just gonna do bullet points. Uh, go watch my last video. I explained why I'm doing reactions again. Um, this isn't the most Christmassy video to start off with, but it's a video that I want to react to. This is Diddle's Reviews, Alvin and Chipmunks, Meet Frankenstein. Yes, it's a video that I made, but as I said in the last video, go watch it even though it doesn't have Pello in the title. I, go, I want to react to videos that I've played a part in so I can critique myself. So, all of that out of the way. I'm done with the intro. I'm not going to try to add in, in any jokes or any, anything because I'm not good at improv. I need to learn to get good at improv if I want to do this stuff. So anyway, what do you say we go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Whew. Finally. God, that took forever. And then, last time I tried to do this, I tried to actually have the video on so I could have pauses and talks. But, uh... Ah! That didn't work out. Because I wasn't actually recording the audio from the video. There a reason you brought me back from the abyss. Oh, I wish I could have gotten rid of that glare. Hey, Jasper! <laughs> I wanted to like this movie. I really did. And after re-watching Alvin and the Chipmunks Meet the Wolf... Also, this sure review is up on the channel, so go watch it. I did as a child. I had... <laughs> ...that I would enjoy this one, too, despite finding it Makes bland sense. when I was younger. But I was let down. I was bored out of my mind. And I kid you not, I was so turned off to the idea of reviewing this film, I pushed this review back a full year. That's now, true. surprisingly, it had nothing to do with a company claiming the video and not releasing it until November. I just really did not want to sit down and watch it again in order to script this review out. But, unfortunately, I can wait no longer. See, this film you can hear in my voice, hang on, for the hot three, two, one, pause. You can, you can see how comfortable I am with this because I'm reading a script. When I'm like reading a script, like everything is scripted out out for me, it comes out so naturally. But that's just a critique on myself right now. Um, I really like the mic quality, which is surprising. Um, heads up, I remember almost nothing from this. Like if I'm being 100%, uh, I finished uh, editing it in September, put it up. Uh, fought the appeal, and then completely forgot everything I put in this review. Um, but yeah, the mic is surprisingly good. I think they did a great job. Um, they. Uh, I think the mic quality is good for what I was using, which is just a Beats microphone for a headset that broke like five years ago. Play. Is. So, without further ado, this is... You know, we could just do this next year. It's either this or reacting to Pello. This is Alvin and the Chipmunks meet Frankenstein. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Oh, thank God, it's a good movie. Damn it. Before we three, start... Three, two, one, pause. I... Wow. I paused on three. Uh, keep that in mind. Um, I actually remember filming that shot now. That was like one of my favorite shots uh, to film. As a matter of fact, I think that's I think that was like one of the scenes I first wrote in the script uh, because I was like, "Oh, this is gonna be uh, this is this is gonna be hilarious." Didn't take into account I didn't actually know how I would do that, so I was actually filming that on my phone, and this little pop socket I had it in my mouth as I was trying to like record it opening. That's why it was so off center. Don't put pop sockets in your mouth. They taste disgusting. Three, two, one, go. I'd like to rectify a mistake I made from last year. I stated that they showed Wolfman almost 24-7. I was uh, okay. absolutely wrong. I actually wanted them to show Wolfman 24-7. But instead, they actually showed this hot garbage nonstop every Halloween. And 
I, I do am. remember that. Putting it back in the spotlight. Well, well, well. How the turntables... The movie opens up just like any other... I've never seen The film. Office. Three, two, one, pause. I've actually never seen The Office, but uh, me and some friends from LaGrange would... Did I say Grange or, or LaGrange? I, I, I don't know. Um, we would reference that scene all the time, so when that came to my mind, I was like, yeah, that definitely needs to go in. Uh, three, two, one, play. With an entitled mom. Yeah. Sorry, it's my art supports. They they throw off my whole center of balance. You call this a monster? Come on, Billy. I told you this wouldn't be. She's kind of thick, though. With all due respect. I'd still hit it. This is where we meet Mr. This Yen. man gets it. He's in a position this man where if it. he doesn't do something, he could lose his job. However, he is I don't so remember. irrelevant to the plot. Then this will be the last time I will ever mention him. He could That's lose probably his. why. I, I have it written down right here. He could lose his. Good job. This is why I don't write scripts. We cut to another section of the park That's where we lie. see that Alvin, Bitch, and Theodore are putting on a show. If you came here oh. and expected my opinion of Simon to change from last year... You are stupid. Almost as stupid <laughs> as this movie. Almost. But not exactly. After Entitled God, Mom uses her... my hate boner for Simon. Bar, after Entitled Mom uses her gargantuan backside to push other patrons around... What? We get the first song of the film, Things Out There. Uh, three, two, one, pop. I'm still using Sans jokes in 2019. Uh, basically 2020, I'm still using Sans jokes. Um, I know for a fact I'm super hard on the songs in this film. After rewatching it again, for some reason, um, I will admit they're not, they're chipmunk songs, they're decent. It's better than a live a action movie, just making all of their songs, like, covers. So, just take it with a grain of salt. In this review, I am very hard on the songs. They're decent. They will get stuck in your head for about five minutes after you watch the film. Go. It is incredibly obvious that this song is just a pure time waster. It that is true, It doesn't move the plot along in any way, shape, or form. And it really just exists to help the movie get to its hour and 15 minute runtime. Truly, the only remarkable yeah, yeah, thing that, true, that happens in the song is that Simon gets his cheeks taken. How dare you reference a better movie? Anything you dare you. But the bottom line is that you're <laughs> After the torture ends, Alvin tries to assault the Man. mom's child, but dies in the process. Damn. Should have been Simon. Get <laughs> my child! After finding a suitable Jesus. replacement for their dead Jesus. Brother, the trio sneaks off to try and ride a roller coaster in Dragonland. Let's all go to Dragonland. I think I do remember doing a lot of all right, one you dead chipmunk jokes. Joke, you're fired. Ah, shit. Here I go again. Well, damn. Jasper can't even stay in a video. Anyway, it's okay. Okay, three, two, one. Pause. Okay, so, um, I probably pause at a bad time because that's because now this joke isn't gonna make sense. But hey, you've already seen the review, right? Of course you have. The reason Diddles is looking at the door is because originally Jasper was going to be positioned there, and I recorded all of Diddles' stuff before I recorded Jasper's. Um. But then, by the time I was moving the stuff around, I realized Jasper would look better in this co corner. So, uh, I kind of made a big mistake there. That's on me. Three, two, one, go. Wait, before you go, the whole joke here is that, uh, they don't actually say the doctor's name. They stutter. Um, so I use that instead of actually saying his name. Three, two, one, go. Dr. Fuffer is going to be moving into yeah. the castle Dr. at the theme park under the guise of an employee. In all actuality, Dr. Fuffer is a mad doctor from a far off land who was kicked out for... What was he kicked out for again? Ah, do you think I created some monster from dead body parts I stole from the cemetery or something? Absolutely. I, I don't know. I think it was like tax evasion or something. I don't, I, I don't really know. I wasn't paying attention. So in his typical cuck fashion, Theo is too scared to ride the oh. land roller coaster. But I genuinely cannot blame him for being scared, especially when the riders come out like this. 
Dragon lands the best. Wow. See, I'm still rocking the Theodore Cuck jokes. I still got hearing in one ear. <laughs> what kind of amusement park are you running here? So, in order to extend the runtime of the film, the chipmunks <laughs> decide to take a tram tour to Dragonland instead of just walking. A lot of the memes. This is where we meet the. Best a lot of the memes in here are some of the best. Hi! Are some of the best parts. Oh shit! Tour. It's my nigga you Phil. And folks like you find fabulous filmland fulfillment. My nigga Phil. Friend, Phil. That sounds so familiar. Now Phil is a little ball of sunshine. He absolutely loves his job. And now, before we get going, is anybody? That joke could have been extended. A bit more. I probably should have gussed about Phil a lot more before I cut it off and did this. Well, okay. You know, folks, here in a little corner of the Hollywood Dream Factory, we shoot over 500 hours of TV shows and movies in a year. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. He's actually just the realest nigga in this film. It'd be like that sometimes, though. So in typical fashion, it does be like Alvin that feels as if he's not getting enough screen time. So he shows up Phil at his own acting game, kicks him off the trolley, and starts destroying the studio slash amusement park. I'm just now realizing I have no idea what this oh, place geez. is. Oh, jeez. I guess it's supposed to be like Disney World. If, you know... Disney World sucked. Anyway, the duo, plus Simon, gets kicked <laughs> off the trolley and okay. across the studio, causing Neat. them to miss their show and getting it canceled. This is when Dave receives a call and- WAIT A MINUTE! That was loud. You can hear the fan. That's not Dave. So, as it turns in the out, background, the chipmunks got so it's lost in the amusement kind of that they got locked in. You might be able to hear it in this Simon video. Simon is throwing a serious baby bitch fit. Great shortcut, Alvin. We've been walking for hours, and I've yet to see a single dragon. Our show's been cancelled. What do you suggest we do now, Mr. Reliable? Oh, sweet Kibon, shut the f Ah! So not how to two reference. To, the to find them while the boys end up taking refuge in the castle. As soon as I know they're okay. I'm gonna hey. kill Simon. Same, Dave. Inside the castle, <laughs> the boys discover that the mad Dr. Wait. has been rebuilding his monster. Guys, it's just a costumed character. It's not real. And as usual, Simon is fucking wrong. Anyway, <laughs> I'm done with that joke, I swear. Huh. No, I'm not. The doctor catches the chipmunk. I made Diego surprisingly happy in this video. Kill them and fuck them. I don't know. Am I joking? What follows next is an incredibly long and uh, three, two, one, pause. If you guys are wondering why I use so many uh, voice pitch ups in this video, it's su surprisingly because I'm reviewing Alvin and the Chipmunks and it's just a normal guy with his voice pitched up. So that's the joke. I, I don't know. I, I didn't think I'd have to explain that, but there you go. Also, I, I, I was checking my email. I got uh, lines from Wesley for a very special uh, v video that should be coming out soon. Three, two, one, go. ...with a lot of high-pitched screaming, which ultimately ends in the monster chasing them into Dragonland. The monster chases them inside and accidentally turns on the ride. This is when... Ah, uh, yes. Please understand, I'm just joking in this next next part. I actually think this is a really nice re reference. Wasn't expecting it to come up. I really used Blue Evolution's theme for this, didn't I? No. Anyway, the ride goes so fast that it launches the chipmunks out of the. I remember I was really excited to shoot that part, but I shot it before. Three, two, one, pause. See if this is gonna have to be how reactions happen from time to time. So you're just gonna have to deal with it. Um. That was one of my favorite parts to shoot, but I did it prematurely because, as you can see, I wasn't wearing the hoodie. Um, that's because that was like one of the first things I filmed, and then I went in there and got dressed for the part, and I was like, "Oh snap, that's not gonna sync up." So, oh well, I'm gonna get good at YouTube one day. Don't worry about it. Three, two, one, go. Could this possibly mean what I think it means? Yes. 
Back at home after surviving the doctor's several murder attempts, I'm kind of glad I didn't do a zoom there. To get some help finding his boys. I'm not putting any clips up of that. That's up to you to decide whether or not I'm joking. Uh, this was the time Alvin burned down the kitchen, making me a Father's Day breakfast. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember getting the call on that one. Oh, come on, man. They just reversed revert. that scene. Oh, okay. They didn't even try to hide it. Before the police are able to convince their search, they just Alvin reversed the, the animation. Just in time to assault one of the officers. Dave makes good on his earlier promise and kills Simon. If only. <laughs> he then asked for an explanation as to where they disappeared. The to. Simon hate is real. Okay. So. Your homework. Huh? What homework? Ha! Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Loud equals funny. Ready to tell the truth. I don't want to hear a peep out of any of you. Okay, so I was wrong uh, here. Um, excuse me, Dave. Because, if, uh, uh... If I may have a moment of your time. Yeah, here it comes. Yeah, What's Meet the Wolfman came out after Frankenstein, more, so... Well then, I was just wrong with that one. slightly catchy yet mediocre song about murder? I knock him off his feet with a judo sweep. Blast him into space on a rocket. I'm sensing a running theme of murder in these chipmunk movies. Yo, zipper face! You want a piece of me? Y'all ready to rumble? Bring it on, brother! I'm hurting. I hurting. That hurts. Oh. <laughs> I am in constant physical pain every waking moment of my life. That's true. And the only thing this movie is doing is edging me closer to the oh-so-appealing brink of death. Oh. Later that night, the monster tries to return MC Bear Bear to Theo, That's but a is lot interrupted right there. by Not Dave. <sighs> Come on, fellas, I thought I told you to... Huh? I don't think that was actually... <laughs> I, I don't think that was actually in the movie. As a matter of fact, I point a lot, I don't I? He is so willing to beat his kids, he convinced himself that he heard them making noise just so he could have an excuse to go upstairs and lay some pipe on them. Three, two, one. I don't think I use that expression right. Ooh. Really quick, I'm recording something right now. Uh, what does it mean to lay some pipes on someone? I forgot I called Diego. So the monster falls out Three, two, window. one, pause. And that line when I was uh, trying to describe how he beats his kids, um, that line took so long to get right. You do not understand. It was the bane of my existence. I record. I re-recorded that like nine or ten times. Uh, three, two, one, play. He dies, but Theodore has a solution to help bring him back to life. Please tell me I didn't actually make this joke. He's rated G. <laughs> the next morning, Alvin and Simon discover Theo's new boy toy, Frankie, going down on him. They decide that this love cannot be. So, for the second film in a row, they decide to kill Theodore. He wakes up just in time to thwart their plan, however. Not Dave then walks into the room and spots the monster. Unfortunately, my video got corrupted during this portion of the movie, so here's a dramatic Oh, okay, of what yeah. Happened. Well, hello boys. It is your father. Dave. I forgot I made I, I forgot I made Dave a conservative. <laughs> oh, and who might that be? Well, it sure is good to know you were telling the truth. I'll beat you when I get back. See you later, boys. <laughs> what? <laughs> nah, 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 I'm, I'm just kidding. That would have been smart. They oh my god! The next scenes have... Oh my god! Alvin tries to cook breakfast for Frankie. Frankie destroys several items in the house. And Miss Miller comes over. However, since her beautiful, curvaceous chipmunk daughters aren't with her, I kind of skipped this scene. So they somehow end up in the I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Frankie had to play with children. <laughs> There's also a song here. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a. Uh, I had my TV on. I'm so real about the why must I suffer joke. Slightly more bearable. So later when they're cooking dinner, they decide to. What the fuck? What? What the fuck? Oh. As I was saying. Oh god. Alvin manages to get kidnapped by Doctor Diego. 
However, since her beautiful curvaceous chipmunk daughters aren't with her, I kind of skipped this scene. You don't get to complain about the types of jokes I make. That was a nice edit a right there. Point. I actually really like that the edit. Doctor, and it's up to the others to save him. Guys, quit playing around. You've got a premiere to get to. We're leaving right now. See you there. <laughs> Gee, Alvin sounds like he's getting a cold. It's not even the same pitch, Dave. It's not even the same Once pitch. Once again, you are an awful father. The doctor plans on turning Alvin into That's a... That's one of my favorite running jokes. Lost. I am going to turn you into a mindless zombie. Have you ever seen a mindless zombie? Are you kidding? I live in Hollywood. Uh-huh. <laughs> After getting Alvin to drink his juices, he shocks him with electricity. Well, oh, God. <laughs> Unfortunately, all this does... Why don't I remember any of this stuff? I mean... What did you expect to happen? You shocked a chipmunk with 50,000 volts of electricity. The doctor does get his comeuppance though, as a water drip causes his machine to explode, killing him in the process. <laughs> oh god. Well that worked itself out nicely. It sure Actually, did. that's a lie. Alvin turned into a monster, they turn him back, everyone thinks Frankie is a monster, then they don't. He gets a job at the park, they recreate me watching this film. See, this is actually a double layer joke because I'm a furry. And I hate my life. Try to set up a sequel, and then it's over. That's it. I wasn't kidding about the doctor, though. He's actually dead. Yeah. There's, there's no coming back for him. And that was Alvin and the Chipmunks meet Frankenstein. It's garbage filler. Aside from some of the that was dangerous for me to do because I still had Wolfman in that film. case. It's filled to the brim with padding, uninspired story beats, and it's just so boring. I wouldn't even put this on to punish my kids. You're better off watching Alvin and the Chipmunks meet the Wolfman. Probably still one of the best pieces of chipmunk media out there today. And with that, I am finally done reviewing chipmunk movies. I can finally move on to reviewing media I actually like. So with that being said, leave a con- uh okay yeah oh, i yeah. i do still plan on reviewing one. this one i guess i got one more to do so with that being said leave a comment down below letting me know what you would like to see me do next don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of the next time i upload don't forget to join the discord server and check out the merch in the description and hey why don't you go ahead and donate to the patreon to help how to come out sooner and with that being said until next time diddle out Ain't gonna buy it. Uh oh. That's a genuinely good song. That's the only thing I've heard from that movie. And I, I genuinely cannot wait to uh to review that one. It'll probably be around next year though, once I finish fixing that mess over there. Yeah, stop, yeah, no, stop, yeah, stop, yeah, no, stop. Yeah, stop, you proceed. That's still my favorite outro. It, 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 it's a shame it's going to change around next year. Actually, it's going to change uh, these next two months because after these next two two months, the outro song is going to change. Uh, but yeah, we're back to using the Christmas outro. Isn't that great, guys? Um, so, I actually really like this review. To be completely honest, I still, I still prefer my review of Meet the Wolfman. But that's just because I genuinely enjoy that film. Um, but... On, if I were to take out any biases, I still prefer the one from last year because um, there was more material to work with. I was able to make more memes and quick ed edits. Uh, but yeah, this one with the material I had, I genuinely enjoyed it. Uh, wow. Yeah. Uh, if I had to rate this one, I'd give it like... I can't believe I'm about to give... Uh, my uh, one of my videos such a high rating I I I give this review about an eight out of ten uh, if you haven't seen it why would you watch this what's wrong with you you must be a center academy student 
So yeah, this was uh, a pretty good start if you ask me, uh, but you're not asking me. You're just going to not watch this video. So with that being said, leave a comment down below letting me know what you would like to see me react to next. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of the next time I upload. Don't forget to join a Discord server in the description. And hey, why don't you donate to the Patreon to help HowToTube come out sooner. So with that being said, until next time, diddle out.